forward there. Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. I'm going to make this a real short update. I'm here in Victorville at the EVgo chargers at the mall. EVgo did something pretty awesome. They listened to feedback and they upgraded and fixed the charger site out here. Now, Unfortunately, I wasn't able to use Kendra, which was the one that was functioning at 100 amps. A Nissan Leaf is there plugged in right now. I might go back and check their charge rate again before I leave. It looks like it's pretty close to 40 kilowatts, but I don't know enough about that Leaf specifically to know what its charge rate should be. However, they're using Kendra, which was the dual port CCS and Chatamo, which meant that this other spot that Werther was occupying, well, it was a Chatamo only. So were this same scenario to play out two weeks ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, I would have been waiting for the Nissan Leaf to finish charging. EVgo, listen to the feedback and they added another dual port station. They've been doing a very good job of this. They've already expanded about 20 stations so far in California that were two Chatamo, but only one CCS. They're all now two CCS, two Chatamo. So it really balances out. It'll prevent bottlenecks. As long as these maintain working at 125 amps, it's also going to alleviate bottlenecks. Because the thing is, these chargers are not essential for the Bolt EV if you're going to Las Vegas from Los Angeles. However, they are absolutely essential for basically every other non-Tesla EV. With the Baker charger, going from Los Angeles to Las Vegas in a shorter range electric vehicle is reasonable right now to do at freeway speeds without a whole lot of concern but they need this charger so when this charger was only one station when it was only one ccs but two chatmo it created a major bottleneck i'm really thankful for evgo for updating this charger location good job it's great i'm glad you're doing it i'm glad you did it and i'm glad you're listening to everybody's feedback now i see other people saying Oh, EVgo, please expand this now after they've already added chargers. Well, I think we need to be reasonable in this. Uh, they're already doing a lot given the budget and given all of the other expansions and all of the other ways in which they're building out the network. I don't think it's reasonable to just expect all of these sites to suddenly bloom to four chargers per site. And in that regard, I would much rather see EVgo add two chargers to Barstow and two chargers in Yermo and maybe two chargers in Prim than to see them expand Victorville and Baker to four chargers each. I think there's more value in having that uh, dispersed network right now as long as you're maintaining a minimum of two chargers per location and making sure that they're you know operating at a minimum of 125 amps so you do good things i'm going to call it out in evgo good job thank you for expanding this site to having two of each charger and making sure that uh you know where there is operating at 125 amps it's gonna make things a lot easier for everybody and it alleviates a huge bottleneck thank you for listening to your customers i think it's important for us to reward companies who listen to their customer base with our business. Uh, I'd love to hear what you all think about this. Do you use this charger? Um, you know, are there other real trouble spots where EVgo can maybe uh, fix up the, the charger location so that uh, it functions a little bit better for the users and uh, people can get it out in and out faster? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It helps me do these sorts of videos on the infrastructure. And uh, thank you for watching.